Hey everyone, this is the Monster Triple One, and we are playing Dragon Guard 2. Last time we went through the ancient tomb and found out about Noe's past. About how he came to be in this world. It was very confusing. I don't know if I'll be able to explain it even better than what they did, but basically, Noe was born between two humans, and then after that, in a different way. And then, pretty much, Legna took care of Noe right after that, and that's about the best I can say for right now. So we'll go ahead and continue on with the story and find out what's going to happen next. Did I gain something? Am I stronger? Why do you not realize what you've been strength in? Hey, what's that over there? What's what? A battleship. A ship. And it's under attack. Look, it bears the right mark. Higher up, Sarah might be on board. Well, I guess you finally found Sari. What? No, I can't. We have to help them. Let's fight off those monsters. Hmm. I knew you'd say that. So well, now we're going to save the battleship where Surrey might be on board. The thing is about this is you can shoot the battleship, but you really don't. Otherwise, it'll be game over. And you are timed on this one, so you gotta try and take out the enemies as quickly as you can. But of course, the battleship can even attack you too, so that kind of sucks. But you just gotta try and fight off all these dragons here as best you can. Two down there, are about 18 of them. They're already off to a good start. Yep, that takes care of them. Now we'll just gotta get rid of these three.
What? Is that who I think it is? Thomas. Is that you? Okay, that's a really cliched lie. If I didn't nick for every time I heard that, I'd be a millionaire. And now this was really unexpected. Finally, actually, someone's alive. I'm starting to feel rather lonely because everyone's dying around us. Eric, I'm so glad to see you again. Pyrox Eric took good care of me. You think I would die like that? That'd be foolish. Death knows. When I die, I want it to be in my I... I heard about you. Yes. He died for his beliefs. But I can't think about that now. Was Hierarch Seri on this ship? No, it was just me. Hierarch Seri took off without me. He said there was something he had to do. Seri, Seri, Seri! Mommy, Seri is the bad one. He's the bad one. What happened to her? She's... wounded and broken. The world. I have to save her. Save Mana and the world. There is no What the? Okay, now that was freaky. You will fight us. Foolish humans. Manos. Mano, what's wrong? The humans are our playthings. The dragons are our servants. We create and rule above all. Mana, come back to me. Mana, I need you here now. Please. Mana? Mana! Mana! Okay, what's going on now? Apparently Mana's possessed now. No determination leaves him into Mana's mind. Okay, how'd that happen? That's weird. So, now we're pretty much in Mana's mind, as it said. Trying to take on whatever is possessed her. So let's see what's going on. I guess that's our mana. Now we gotta try and find her. And here we are inside Mana's mind. This place is actually kind of looking familiar. Did you remember if you played the first game? What the? Where is Mana? Now all you gotta do for this first part is just to find Mana. And just reach her right over here, the little kid man right over here. She's just right around in all these places here. And then once you get to this part here, you get a little boxing and then the battle starts. It's alright, man. I'll protect you. Let's go back to our world. Who are you? Will you me? Will you love me? I promise. I'll be a really good girl. Okay, that's one of the freakiest faces around. I want you to be yourself. Ow. Okay.
Okay, and as you can see here, there are about nine enemies, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, there's nine. And only one of them is real. The rest are just illusions that are, can't in fact hurt you. And we want to go after the one that's just right over here. He's using a powerful magic attack, as you can see. And here's our screen sword. So yeah, you want to go after the real one here. And now you can tell which one is real is that he usually sends out flower petals. What we're really fighting here is basically the little mana that was trying to destroy the world. So this is the real cult watcher. And you can, and there's even a little glitch here that you can use to really get rid of her in one big attack. What, how you can use this glitch is you gotta try and get her into a corner and then get her to actually leave the battlefield. And they're all completely together, it's hard they're all grouped, and I think this one here might in fact be a real one. Nope, it's not. How you can usually tell if it's a real one is running away, but he isn't that. Losing a big magic attack here. There we are. Here's the real one. You can also tell by looking at both health bars, the main bosses and the health bar of the pretty much this one. As I was saying, you just gotta try and get the enemy into a corner here, and if you can get her, it's a very strange glitch. If you can get her out of the out beyond the wall, it's an instant kill. I've only managed it a couple of times. Maybe I'll be able to manage it here. And I think I'll use the stronger sword. This one here ain't doing crap. How can I stop it casting Maybe it wasn't me. Yeah, let's see some magic of our own. There. As you can see, the scenery around the place even changes. And I think this is the scenario where you can actually use that glitch where you can get her into a corner and then take her out a lot quicker. I'm going to try it right now. You just got to get into a corner and just attack her like crazy and try and get her beyond the battlefield. I don't think it's going to work this time. A very strange glitch. And I think I'm starting to run out of time for one video.